So hello everyone, in this video I am covering the mathematical operators uh, or you can say scalar operators. So let's go. So I will start with first, you know, the basic operators which are found in uh, in mass step operators. Operators actually, uh, basically they perform mathematical operations. So there are some basic uh, operators like add, addition, uh, subtraction, multiplication, and division, and and all. So uh, what you can do if you want to work with them, you will need two inputs with the numbers and the component itself and the panel too. So see the results. So let's just grab the grip first and put into the for results connect the panel. So you can say simply it's a two plus one equals three and go for the subtraction it will be same you will get 2 minus 1 that's a 1 then go for the multiplication um, they are actually 2 um, the next one is division um, we have to do the same job uh, and you can you know vary it you can see the numbers changing in panels next one is a power so if i connect uh, let's you know, make it seven so i am connecting 28 to the a of two and let me connect the panel first so b will be you know the power so what you, you are saying here is a 28 uh, to the power eight let me reduce it so you can you know see the numbers changing here two one five nine two next one is a mod mod is a you know function what it does uh, you it does a, you know it uh, returns the remainder value so if i'm sending here 28 and you know the next one is uh, the three so you can see the one because uh, the three multiplied by nine it's a 27 so we are getting one remainder over here you can see as i can vary the values will change and the next one is uh, to see that this is a factorial factorial is simply you know uh, you are multiplying that number with uh, lesser numbers until you reach one so let me connect this with three so you got six three into two equals to six as we can increase uh, consider uh, it's like you know seven or so so it's a set five factorial value five multiply four multiply three multiply two that's 120 and that's a negative operator what it is it you know negative it multiplies any number with a mi minus one so that's what we get next one is a integer division we get uh, you know the integer value always actually you know rounded off to the closest integer when we put a value so you can see it's a nine effect nine actually you know the functions uh, the operators like uh, factorial negative and you know the integer division even the mod you, and the power you can actually you know uh, program them you know you can make a program but uh, the uh, other ones on top like uh, addition division and uh, addition division multiplication and negative and these are the actually basic operators so you can use these four operators uh, to build to build this using a script so the next one are the, actually the conditional operators conditional operators actually compare two things so what you can see here is a equal operator larger operator smaller and a similar so let's first look at the equals when we connect uh, two numbers with equals it compares them so what you can see 1 and 10 are not the equal number so so they are not equal they are not equal so the not equal condition is a true and the equal condition is false it always returns a boolean value but uh, you know when i uh, make both numbers equal uh, or you know you can say when i make it 10 so when both are equal then it becomes true and the not equal becomes false so you know let's go to the next one uh, when connecting a with large so it actually compares which one is larger 
so it what a year you know what is happening here so 17 is actually larger than 10 so larger is also true and larger than than equal to is also true but you know whenever uh, larger is true larger than equal to will always be true but you know if we make it you know both of them equal so what happens uh, the larger than condition become false and larger than equal to becomes true next one is similar to the larger that is smaller it acts like same actually you can see 10 is uh, you know smaller number than 27 so it shows true and it is also smaller than equal to in case of equal to you will get this one true and this one false and this next one the similar is you know kind of very important what it does uh, let me connect it 10 and uh, you know just connect it so if you can uh, just right click on it to see what it does it takes three inputs first a and b are actually the number to compare and the first two are the number and third is a threshold value on which you know similarity is just like you can decide if 10 first if the second number is around you know 10 percent it is has to be said true so if you can see at this time both of the numbers are equal because 10 and 10 is allowed i'll make it let me make it 11 12 11 when we make it 11 yes so you know the difference is one uh, though so in the 11 and 10 both are in the range of you know 10 percent difference so it is saying both are similar and dt shows the difference between uh, the first and second number so these were the conditional operators and the last one is actually the constants which are found under the utilities in master epsilon natural algorithm pi and the golden ratio so you know this one is a natural algorithm when you connect it with it have a you know input and output when you connect it with the input what it does it uh, multiplies the value whatever uh, we are connecting to the input to the value of e here and you will see the value in the output so we call these the factors and even you know the you can work with the pi let me make it one um this the one uh, when the value is one you can see it's showing the value of pi it, you know you can use them as a you know name to it will work um so when you vary the factors you can see the number changing and these constant can also be applied to a mathematical operator like a multiplication and you can see the changes happening here so in this video i have covered the basic uh, mathematical operators uh, and the conditional operators and in the end the constants which are found in utilities see you in the next video